Hey up signs, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you at this particular point in time. It is going to be a love reading, guys, and a general one at that. So please keep mindful. If you are interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video. Okay, um, Ace of Pentacles in reverse like that could be an indicator that you yourself or the person that you're connected to perhaps isn't ready for commitment right now at this particular point in time. Um, maybe this is your energy, right? Maybe you're in a relationship with someone whom you're not ready to commit to this person. Or maybe you're just not ready for commitment for a relationship. You're not ready to progress things to the next stage. Um, maybe you're heavily focused on career or just other areas of your life. Maybe the relationship is not what you're looking for right now. Or it could be the person that you're connected to. Maybe you are dealing with someone who is lacking commitment or who just isn't ready to commit at this particular point in time. Maybe this person feels like they need a little bit more time. Um just to see how things are progressing but i do think that this is just uh this is a bit of instability as well right you may be dealing with someone who is a bit of a fluctuating presence in your life so someone who's in and out um your relationship may be on and off with them it might go hot and cold and just might ping pong back and forth here um but you are invested in each other okay it does feel like emotion you guys invested and it does feel like you're invested in getting to know one another and in building upon this connection but there's just something about this particular point in time that the cards seem to be indicating that right now might not be the best time to progress the relationship forward okay maybe as we've discussed earlier it might have something to do with the you know not readiness part or maybe right now it's just not the best um the best time maybe you've got other things going on or they have other things going on the cards seem to indicate that this is worth waiting and it's worth pursuing okay so just because you're not ready now don't give up on them or just because they're not ready now don't give up on what you have because there does seem to be an investment there does seem to be a commitment even if, if it's not as um if the commitment is not like as strong as you want it to be but it does feel like this person is invested in getting to know you and in building a connection i feel like you feel as though you've put so much into this relationship and you, you feel like you've put so much on the table for this person um you know in getting to know them and in bringing your walls and your guard down and you've invested maybe a lot of time and a lot of your energy and a lot of your resources into this connection and some of you may be wondering whether it's time to um, walk away or whether you know this is worth pursuing the cards seem to indicate that yes this is worth pursuing and you have invested a lot into this relationship and it may be a shame just to throw it away now but at the same time you've got the ace of swords and the ace of swords is your sign that is saying to you that whatever is going on right now between you and your person whatever you're thinking or feeling now's a really good time to communicate that bring it out into the open because your person may be under the impression that you want out of this relationship or you may be under the impression that you know they want out so it's important to communicate so you're on the same page and just let them know what you're thinking let them know what you're feeling because it does feel like this person has been wanting to reach out and say something to you to open up and 
share something very personal or intimate with you but it feels as though either this person is really guarded or they're very shy they're quite reserved so or maybe they just don't feel comfortable um opening up to you just yet but it does feel like they've been holding back the four of pentacles um because it's your energy right it could be your sign that you need to open yourself up a little bit more um, you may be someone who's very guarded and is very closed off and your person maybe is having a hard time getting close to you or they have a hard time reading you um so if you are someone who's a bit closed off like without you realizing it you may be closed off to this relationship even though you might not necessarily want to be um you may be closed off to in, in getting to know this person your energy may be closed off and so there's not a lot of things coming in because it's like your the space around you is very um it's closed and you're blocking it off and you're blocking things um so it's open to, so it's important to look into opening up your energy opening up your heart chakra specifically also notice the star is edged the star etched onto the pentacles like that i feel like there's this symbolism of patterns here there's some sort of pattern that keeps being repeated that may be hindering you or it may be hindering the connection or like it may be hindering you in your connections your past connections and perhaps even your present or future connections if you don't interrupt this pattern if you recognize this pattern and if you can step in and try and interrupt this pattern then um, it may change how your relationships look like and how they progress for example and this could just be an example you may be someone who's afraid of commitment you may be someone who's afraid of intimacy who's afraid of um, emotional commitment and so you might attract partners or you might attract um, people into your life who either equally just as afraid of commitment and therefore neither of you end up committing to each other or you may actually end up attracting people who are ready for commitment but you're not and so it doesn't end up working out anyways because one is you know one is more ready than the other person um but the person that is ready for commitment is contrasting you and the universe might be trying to show you what you you know what you need to shine a spotlight on so you need to spotlight some of these patterns that may be interfering or maybe disturbing your relationships or maybe even like different areas of your life it could be your career and finance it could be your friendships um there is something that i feel like is going to come together for you nicely but my goodness is this taking its time like this is taking a really long time like it's crawling along at snail's pace it could be this relationship that we're seeing okay eventually a commitment will come eventually the both of you will you know grow closer together um you'll grow more intimate you'll build more of a deeper and uh, like more of a deeper emotional connection with each other but it is going to take time maybe the person that you're with you're going to start off as friends okay if this hasn't happened yet for you like if you haven't manifested this person in your life i feel like this person is going to show up someone is going to show up in your life where i feel like this person is going to be a very guarded and a very closed off or shy individual and it's going to be a very slow burning connection with that person so it's going to be a slow burn don't let that put you off because you know just because it's a slow burn doesn't mean that it's not going to end up going anywhere um sometimes when things start off really fast um they tend to fizzle out in the end right so just because it's a slow burn don't be put off by it because if anything i feel like you're more focused on building a connection and a friendship so a friendship might turn romantic someone you already have in your life whom you consider a really close friend you may you know all of a sudden wake up one day and feel like you have romantic feelings for this person or this person might turn around and tell you that they're really attracted to you Or otherwise I feel like finally the person that you're connected to there's finally something happening here there's finally a little bit of momentum a little bit of movement 
um, something falls into place for you um, and something falls into place for you very effortlessly very smoothly without you having to move around too many pieces there's definitely a connection that's deepening a connection that's growing but it could also be a friendship um, i feel like your feelings for someone are growing i feel like more and more you are becoming attracted to this person not just physically but like emotionally and mentally and of course this is how your person could be seeing you um, or is likely seeing you as well because there's such a mirror like there's such a mirrored effect here happening with the two of cups so your person could be feeling exactly what you're feeling where they feel you know their their feelings for you are growing and they're deepening um they may be very shy and closed off in letting you know this but this person feels as though you're very attractive maybe they've never had anyone as good looking as you before uh, maybe they feel like you know they're punching above their weight with you um maybe they're scared to open up and that you know how they feel because they're scared of rejection they're scared that you might not be able to feel maybe you don't feel the same so there's definitely some sort of hesitancy in this person's energy the empress is you know this energy that you're embodying you're either stepping into this energy or you're giving off empress energy she's attractive she's confident uh she's you know secure within herself she's very feminine um she's very motherly very earthly she's quite ethereal the empress isn't she so someone might be too scared to get close to you they feel as though they're attracted to you and they want you and they desire you but they can only get so close to you they for some reason I don't think it's because they have a hard time accessing you. I think it's more that they're either intimidated by you or they don't necessarily know how to approach you or whether you're, you know, available, whether you're um, single or if you're interested. So it feels like this person, you know, wants to get close but then stops themselves or pulls away entirely. And therefore it kind of may be leaving you feeling confused definitely i feel like with the ace of swords there's something to be straightened out here or there's some sort of truth to be revealed a conversation that needs to be had um, you might be the one initiating conversation um, or they may be this could also be you turning around and telling someone how you feel or someone turning around and finally telling you how they feel right um, it may feel like this confession comes out of nowhere but I feel like it's been a long time coming it's been a really long time coming and I think that you've always had your suspicions that this person likes you or this person always had a crush on you you know this person was always interested and attracted to you but I feel like them opening up um, and asking you out or even telling you how they feel for you is really only going to confirm what I feel like you knew or you kind of felt all along. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for your time, your energy, your attention. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye for now.